Dunn County has decided to use Badger Books because it's a way to ensure the security and integrity of our elections. Um, there's been a lot of concern about security and integrity regarding elections, and the Badger Books are a way in which we can make sure that the security of our elections is as secure as possible and that the integrity of our elections stays high. One of the ways that we were able to do that through the Badger Book is by doing voter check-in and voter registration in a much more efficient and accurate manner. So the Badger Book is an electronic poll book. It's the same as a poll book that is printed on a paper, it's just in an electronic form. So voters will still have a similar process. They'll go to the polls, they'll show their IDs, the election inspectors will verify that they are that person. Um, but what the electronic poll books allow us to do is actually scan the back of that ID and it will pull up all the information on that voter. That helps check in voters much more efficiently. But also, if they're a new voter registering for the first time and they have a Wisconsin issued ID, we can also scan that ID and it'll pull up all of their information as well to make sure names are spelled right, addresses are correct, everything like that. If you're from out of state and you happen to be living here in Dunn County, either temporarily because you might be a student, um, we're able to use an uh, approved form of ID and then just type in the last three letters of your name. And if you're a registered voter, it will pop up your information automatically. If you're voting for the first time, voter registration will happen much more efficiently and accurately because of the Badger Book. So Badger Books are an electronic poll book. Instead of a paper version, it's electronic. And the advantage is that instead of having somebody who's a very experienced poll worker flipping through pages of a poll book trying to find your last name, we can scan the back of your ID or we can type in the last three letters of your name and it'll populate you as a voter or anyone else with those similar three letters. We verify that you are your person, you can check in and vote, the election inspector will turn the screen around, you can sign in digitally with your finger or with a stylus and be handed a ballot and be on your way. In the long run, Badger Books will help save money, not only for efficiencies with having to not produce and print hundreds of pages of poll books every election, but it will also save in time management. So the Badger Books will help us track and um, list voter participation much more efficiently, saving time, energy, and effort across the county. So there have been a lot of questions about an electronic poll book and what that means with security. But similar to a paper poll book, I'm still the one that has to process um, a paper poll book or the information being populated in a Badger book. The WISVOTE system requires a three-step authentication process, um, two um, passwords, and then an actual biometric security system. This is a secure system. I'm really the, one of the only people in the county that can access this. So instead of printing a manual poll book, going through the process, what I'm doing is actually downloading that information from WISVOTE and being able to put it onto the Badger book. Then after the election, the poll book information is downloaded from the Badger book, and I'm able to take that, use my same three-step authentication process, and upload that information so voters can actually help track and see their participation in a much more efficient manner. They're never hooked up to the internet, similar to our voting machines. A Badger book is never hooked up to the internet, so they're not hackable, they're not able to be processed. The only people in the county uh, that can process a Badger Book information are the people that have that three-step authentication process. So Governor Evers has proposed a $400,000 grant program for the purchase of electronic poll books across the state. That's a really great proposal. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to go anywhere. So what we're doing here in Dunn County is making sure that we have um, the support offered to the municipalities to help them with the purchase of the Badger Book. What that means is that instead of $2,600 per Badger Book, when we purchase them at a group rate for multiple municipalities across the county, that price then drops to $2,100 a piece. What we were able to do with the county is we had some leftover election money last year. We were able to offer an incentive program so that it, we were able to pay for half of the Badger Book for each municipality that wanted them. So instead of now a $2,600 Badger Book, it's actually costing the municipalities around $1,000 a Badger Book because the county is doing a match with that program. We've been given generous support, not only financial, but also um, encouragement support from the county board for this program because it's going to help ensure the integrity and security of our elections. An electronic poll book can be a new piece of equipment and that can be intimidating for a lot of people. But what's great about the Badger Book is that when a poll worker or an election inspector uses it for the first time in training, they're able to see how user-friendly and efficient the system is. When I go to town board meetings or village board meetings and talk about the Badger Book and how it will work to keep our elections secure and safe, 
every single board that we've gone to has passed it unanimously because they want to make sure that we're across the county making sure that the voting system that we use is as secure and safe as possible. If anybody has questions about Badger Books, they can certainly feel free to Google the Wisconsin Election Commission where there's a whole section on Badger Books to find out more information. Or you can contact the Dunn County Clerk's Office.